Mailer Light Complete Tutorial for Beginners Step by Step Guide. Hello guys, Celia here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how can we easily use MailerLight.com. So they provide us the opportunity to create an emails and to send them to our subscribers. Basically, they provide us a 30-day trial of premium features, and we don't even have to put them our credit card, so we can easily try it for free. So here we are on the main site. Let's click on Sign Up, and here. We need to create an account we need to fill all the information and after that we'll come to our home page with dashboard basically it looks like this you'll also have to set up your account you'll have to answer for some of the questions about your company and so on and then everything is done we'll come to this page from this page here we can easily manage all this stuff so as you can see in the left side there is a menu with dashboard campaign subscribers forms sites automation and also some like account settings integration file manager and templates so from the dashboard we can uh, interact with every single part we can easily create campaigns we can create forms create site create automation also we can find a lot of information about our subscribers like total active subscribers and so on all the stuff here also all the information about our campaigns how many emails did we send how many were opened uh, like about month information also like information about automations forms and sites. So basically, we need to create a campaign to like build a professional newsletters using the drag and drop editor. So let's click on this button right up here to start creating. Uh, basically, we'll come to this page where we need to answer for some of the questions. Uh, basically, the campaign name, let it be like K1, campaign one and the type regular campaign, AB split campaign, RSS campaign or auto resend campaign. Let it be like a regular campaign. In our case, let it be like this. So let's click on save and continue in the right bottom corner. And we'll come to the next page where we need to fill uh, some more information, the subject. This text will be displayed in the subject so we can input something which is interesting as for us. So let it be like hello. For example, uh, also who is it from? So the sender name should be like inputted and also the sender email. As you can see, I have my email right up here. Some tracking options, we can track opens and also enable UTM text. I'm going to uh, turn this on. As for me, it's easier to track all the progress of our uh, email campaign. Uh, the language you choose will be used in your unsubscribe page, so let it be English. Basically, I think this is the easiest way to communicate, so let's click on next. And from this page here, we can easily need, uh, we need to create an email design. So as you can see, we can use like a drag and drop editor and a rich text editor or custom HTML editor. Basically, the easiest way is of course drag and drop, but we can also use like HTML if we are like easy, if we are ready to code the email. So let's click on drag and drop editor. I'm going to click on continue and we'll open our editor page uh, where basically we need to create uh, an email. It's pretty easy. So basically it looks like this. It's like a template or in our case, uh, this is the easiest way. So here we are, we can interact with every single section. So for example, here we can change the logo in the right like side. There is uh, some properties we can change. So we can change logo, we can enter the URL to maybe to for it lead to our website or something like this. If we'll come to settings, we can also find some information like about a layout about padding, bottom padding, top padding, like logo alignment and so on. So every single section is customizable. Moreover, we can delete them. Uh, we can just simply replace the order, change the order, make it up or down. Uh, we can edit, we can view, we can duplicate or delete. So these tabs are quite simple basically. And in this case, we can interact with every single part. So for example, we can change the image right up here. Uh, we can do some other stuff. We can upload it from our computer. And in this case, we need to change every single element. I think it's pretty cool uh, that they provide us the opportunity to interact with uh, templates which already exist. 
and uh, basically when everything is done we can just simply click on done editing in the right top corner of course you need to customize this template as for you so let's click on done editing to find what's the next uh, step in a few seconds basically everything is done we need to select recipients of our campaign so basically let it be all of our active subscribers or we can find some more groups if you have like more uh, subscribers as for us let's click on the next to review step and as you can see now we can find all the information so we can find the subject sender language and also the content so uh, we have something like this our letter looks like this uh, we have some like uh, links so we have some information here uh, we have some offers we have some helpful links so basically um, you need to understand that you basically have to customize this part as for you in my case I'm just going to show you all the features we are going to use so uh, if you'll go back uh, we can easily uh, follow the next step here so let's click on done editing once more and um, if we'll scroll down we can also like find what we are going to track we are going to track opens and utm tags also and all we can find all the recipients uh, as for me i have like only one here and um, now our account is currently being reviewed because we created it like not that long time ago so all we need to do is just to wait and also um, we can easily click on next schedule and after that we can schedule our uh, email like letters when we'll send them if you'll go to campaigns here in the left side menu we can find all the information about send drafts and outbox as you can see we have like draft here and it looks like this when our account will be reviewed we can easily use these features in the subscribers area we can also find all the subscribers we have we can delete them add them as you can see at the subscriber option in the forms area the same we can easily create a form we are going to use we can send and also there is like a sites option where we can create a different like landing page as you can see uh, they provides us the opportunity to use it in automation area we can create our first automation and if we are going to discover the paid plans uh, we can find that we have like uh, some options we have the free plan growing business and advanced like uh, ten dollars per month and twenty one dollars per month and we can find all the differences right up here for example we have like unlimited monthly emails as for growing business also like three users enabled uh, and basically we have we can sell digital products have the unlimited templates dynamic emails auto resign campaign unlimited websites and blogs and a subscribe page builder so basically these are the differences and this is a way of how can we use mailer light as a beginner hope guys this video helped you out please leave a like comment and subscribe i wish you a very good day goodbye